What's going on everyone, Gilman back with another video. Today we're doing it on the wild side of things again and specifically as I've done over the past couple of days, we're gonna be taking a look at Apple stock, uh, kind of the price action for the day and what I think it can do moving forward. Um, so to waste no time getting right into it, I'm gonna click on the one day chart right here. Um, and you know, NASDAQ is, up nicely today right which is a good sign if we take a look at the five-day chart you know it was pretty choppy gapping down gapping down um, but today um, you know it gapped up a little bit and then kind of filled the gap but then continued upward which is definitely a good sign um, Dow was up as well about 136 points um, you know nothing kind of close to the drop we've seen in the past week but you know nonetheless um, green is green and and SPY uh, S&P 500 again was was up for the day about 1% so that's good now getting into Apple right so one day chart let's take a look at what happened so it opened it gapped up nicely um, from you know closing uh, in the 110s to coming up in the high 112s um, and then you know as we've seen kind of clockwork or right? hey you guys know what I'm about to say is it filled the gap right um, or I mean technically not really filled the gap like there was a small you know couple cents that it didn't really fill um, but you know try to retrace the gap and then but but after that it moved down um, and then went back and it not only filled the gap but but a little bit more than that um, and then it was kind of hanging out around this uh, high 109s it's low 110s for a while um, and then you know at about the second after lunch hour, I guess you could say, like late afternoon, it made a push. Um, and every time before that, right, if it touched, it would went towards the VWAP, got, came back, went towards the VWAP, came back. This time it had enough momentum sort of to break through it. Um, and then kind of zooming in here, right, we tested the VWAP twice. I mean, I guess you could say it went over the VWAP, but you know, the fact that it came right back um, to me was a sign of strength, right? Um, so it was up at this 111 level, hit the VWAP, bounce, hit, come back towards the VWAP, bounce. And then, um, you know, this kind of run into the close was great. We did get a little bit of a pullback into the close, um, but you know, this, this like, 14.55 to um, 15.45, so this hour where it, it ran up you know, nicely was definitely a good side to see. Um, let's take a look at the daily charts and kind of the moving averages and see where we stand. So um, again, going down here, right? Um, zooming into the moving averages this is the 20, 50, and 200 day moving average. Um, you, you'll see the, the numbers here, but taking a look at the 50 day moving average, right? It was at 111.20. Um, and we, we did, you know, break that for a little bit, but as you can see, you know, the candle, if we zoom in, um, you know, it, it did find support here and, and sort of made sure to stay above that level, which is always a good sign. And then taking a look at the EMAs, check this out. So, um, again, taking a look at, you know, here for the numbers and here for the high low of the day. Look at that. So um, the EMA 55 was at 109.34, and the low for the day was 109.16. Right. I personally like to look at the EMAs because if I mean you could zoom in here, right? So you see this this candle and this down um, uh, the the wick of the candle. Um, bounced basically right off of this EMA, right? So that's a good sign it found support and continued upward. Um, so hopefully it continues its move upward. We'll kind of see what happens tomorrow, um, whether it gaps up or it gaps down. Um, you know, it uh, the price action that happens after is something to be really, you know, cognizant of just because it gaps up does not mean, you know, that's the buying point, right? As we've seen, you know, today, um, you know, gapped up and then came down, right? Let me take the line away. Um, gapped up and then came back down, came back down, right? So just because it gaps up does not necessarily mean that it's gonna move up from there. Um, again, take a look at the indicators, kind of see what they show you. And if it does gap up, you know, wait a while to see if it fills the gap um, and what it does after it fills the gap, right? So if it fills the gap and it moves right back up, 
great if it gaps up and then continues to fade throughout the day and we're getting you know lower lows um, than kind of where we started the day that's not really a good sign um, and at that point you know you kind of have to figure out what you're doing hopefully for those of you that um, are holding apple in their long-term portfolio like i am um, a little bit of this upward trend is definitely good. Um, we went down to, we were down in the 106s yesterday, um, and then taking a look at the five day chart, we were down all the way uh, to 103 at one point. So this upward move is really good. I mean, take a look at this, right? So just, this was yesterday, um, 921, um, so 103 to 112s, uh, one high 12s, that's about a 10% move, 9% move. Um, which is you know insane for a two-day um, sort of period for a trillion or I don't know if it's two trillion still um, but you get what I'm saying like a huge company right um, 1.91 trillion right so for a 1.91 trillion company to move 10% almost in two days is is, is a big move um, but yeah that's all I had today hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned something I know I'm learning something every day as I look at and study the charts um, hope you guys are too if you did um, please like down below subscribe comment if you own Apple shares or if there's any other analysis that you want me to do and I'd be happy to do them for you um, but with that let's be a, let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time Thank you.